All right, the countdown to fall is on. We have about another hour and 15 minutes before fall reaches us here in Minneapolis. And so I now have my fall cookies all ready to go. Um, the recipe for these cookies, by the way, a couple things. Um, the recipe says it'll make five dozen cookies. I actually made about six dozen. Um, I also probably tripled the amount of cinnamon and sugar that they recommend for dipping. I don't know how they would have gotten two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon to stretch to this many cookies, seriously. Um, the cookies do puff up in the oven, as the recipe says, and then they, they kind of collapse and get their kind of traditional crinkle on top as they cool. I don't know if you can actually see that in here. You can sort of see the texture. Um, the other thing they get, because they've got the sugar on the bottom, which is baked right against the pan, they get a crispy bottom, which, um, you know, doesn't make a lot of noise. But um, you can see it tears, because it's a white sugar cookie. It doesn't do the bending, it does a tear. But when you bite into it, it actually does crunch on the bottom from the cinnamon and sugar. So it's really cool. It's a really nice taste, really nice texture. Um, and, you know, then you're set for fall. Um, without all the pumpkin spice. You can just stick with cinnamon and sugar. That's okay, too. So, um, assuming it were actually fall, and feeling like fall, one of the perfect things to go with these, at least in my opinion, would be a nice cup of hot chocolate. Um, because the hot chocolate with the cinnamon, chocolate and cinnamon go really well together. So, you've got your cookie, you've got your hot chocolate, you end up with that kind of Mexican hot chocolate going on with the cinnamon. It's really good. And um, the cookies, not today, because they're still nice and warm, but if you were to wait a couple days, they will get a little drier, as, as a lot of white sugar cookies do. So the dunk in the chocolate, not a bad idea. For that matter, dunking anything in chocolate, not really a bad idea. So there we go. Um, welcome to fall. Um, hopefully someday soon I'll get to do some tomato, leftover tomatoes from summer, but for now, welcome to fall, and um, I'll see you in a week.